Yeah, I know that's a little high. These games are usually pretty close, and uh, I know everyone's excited about LSU. I, I think Coach O and that staff will be happy with a three-point win and then just getting out of there. I do think that obviously playing in the swamp, which they played last year and last week against Auburn, playing in Tiger Stadium is a huge difference. And listen, I think that has a lot to do with the point spread and the anticipation that this LSU team is really good. I think everyone's excited about, and, and, and I always say this, people assume things, they don't really study it. Uh, when you look at LSU, their offense is so much better that people are saying, oh, finally they've got an offense. And they're assuming the defense is playing great. Not, not, not so fast, not yet. Again, is it progressing towards getting the defense better and progressing towards more balance on offense and slowing down the pace when they need to? That's when I think you can take that step and say, you know what, this LSU team's really elite. And we're going to start to learn it a little bit more this week and eventually against Auburn whether this team can truly compete on an elite level or has it had just been a nice little fun ride with an improved offense? I, I think it's going to be a very positive outlook because I do think LSU has some personnel advantages, and I think defensively they've got too much talent. And with the injuries and with the youth, I think that can't be understated or, or overstated enough as to how that's contributed, along with the pace of play, to their lack of development of the defense. I, I still believe in Dave Aranda and this defense. We haven't seen their best ball yet.